On this National Indigenous Peoples Day, Canada Post is releasing three new stamps in honour of three significant Indigenous leaders. Take a look at this one that honours Métis leader Harry Daniels, who dedicated his life to Métis rights and led the fight for the recognition of the Métis people in Canada's constitution. Daniels died in 2004, but his work and his legacy live on, as does his memory, particularly for our next guest, Gabriel Daniels, Harry Daniels' son. And he's in Winnipeg, live with us this morning. Welcome, Gabriel. Glad to have you on our program this morning. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Let's go look at this stamp again today. Let's linger on this because I love, I'm sure you've been uh, spending lots of time looking at the image of your father. What do you think of how it's captured your dad? Oh, I love it. It's, uh, it's beautiful. They did a really good job. Okay, wait a second, particularly this black hat, so people know there's a story to that. It was a tribute, was it not, to uh, his forefathers? Yeah, um, the hats. I, you know, to be honest, I, he just always wore a, uh, a black hat. I mean, not every day, but um, he was very well known for his hat. And... Um, and there it was. That's so it was awesome. perfect decision to yeah. to capture him on that stamp in that way. I don't that know if you how you story. yeah. I don't know if you got a call from Canada Post or how you heard, but when you did and today, how do you feel about his receiving this honor? Oh, I love it. You know, I, I'm uh, I'm very proud of him, and I'm proud to be his son. And I I, I think uh, it's great that they're um, giving him some recognition in this way. And uh, I hope that when people see it, they, they get interested and, and find out who he is and what his story is and what our story is and our struggle. And uh, I, I think it's great. I'm very, very, very proud of him. Pause that thought for a moment because I'd like to find out more about his story in a second. But I am curious, are you buying up sheets and sheets of these or like writing letters to everyone, <laughs> planning to write letters to everyone you know so you can send stamps with your dad to everyone? Uh, are, they, are they on sale? Are they, are they're, they're, available, available? they're available today, making available today. Well, well then I will go buy some, absolutely. <laughs> and I will be there to everyone I know. Everyone you know gets uh, understandable with your dad on it. He passed away in 2004 after decades, as you well know, of, uh, of fighting for the rights of the Métis people in this country. Tell us more about, about that fight and what he wanted for the Métis people, Gabriel. Yeah. Um, basically, what he wanted uh, ultimately was to get some land back for us. Um, I think going, going into this whole thing, even back in the 60s, uh, his, his goal was land. And, um, you know, he didn't really care about funding and, and you, know, you know, money for programs and all that kind of stuff. That wasn't really his focus. His focus was land and land for our people. Um, but, you know, he did everything in his life to enable us to 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 negotiate for land, but, uh, you know, he never achieved his goal, but he got us to the place where we can get it, so. Um, and and we're, as we look at some of the pictures here, I mean, Canada Post put together uh, quite a wonderful archival role of images of your father, and I think we'll get to one again where he's beside then Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, because many people would say your dad's greatest achievement and accomplishment was leading there it is there, that successful campaign to convince the Trudeau government of the day to enshrine the inherent rights of Métis and non-status Indians, but Métis in the new constitution back in 1982. What do you understand of that particular battle and why it was important to him? Well, it was, it was extremely important because if he didn't, if he wasn't there at that time, and if he didn't get us Métis uh, and Inuit uh, in the Constitution, um, we would have just disappeared as a race of people, really. Like, uh, so it was, it was um, important to get the Métis name recognized in the Constitution by name. That Métis specifically was included, right? Yeah. So it was huge. So um, he was, you know, he was the guy 
to get it done, and he was there, and uh, yeah, it was, um, I mean, it was monumental. <laughs> Do you remember, he would have been a, you know, not even here for much of his fight, but a young man through many of his greatest uh, battles and accomplishments. What did he teach you about about why he was doing what he was, about Métis people, heritage and history? What is the most important lesson to you that you remember today? Um, you know, mainly that, uh, you know, never to forget who we are, where we came from, and to forget the, the generations before us and what they went through, and to keep um, to, to keep to keep our culture and identity alive, you know. And um, that's you know that's basically really it. Ultimately, uh, without getting specific. Yes, people would think of him. You could rhyme off a long list. Um politician, activist, he was a writer and actor as well, but he was also your dad, as a dad, as a father. What do you remember yeah. when you look at that at that stamp? What was he like as your dad? Oh, he was awesome. He was, uh, you know, uh, we had a, we, um, we had a good, a good friendship. Uh, we, um, he was just fun to be around. Um, he was, you know, he loved life. Uh, he was um, always joking. Um, he was just a, he was just a, f a fun person to be around. Really, that's joking with you, but very serious about matters that mattered to him and to uh, the Métis people. There you are, seeing him beside yeah, Ovid Mercredi, beside Pierre Trudeau, right at the center of the most yeah, important decisions. Yeah, literally, he could be like, he, sorry, I don't mean to catch up, but nope. literally, he could be like, he'll, he'll be sitting beside me at a meeting. Joking, and then but once he goes in front of the crowd and gets on the mic, or whatever he'd like, it just it's like a flip of the switch. He just turns into this, uh, yeah, opposite person who was just sitting beside me moments ago. Yeah, the serious was, was business. Great. Yeah, man, he was he was really impressive to watch in front of a crowd. Like he he really knew how to get people fired up. That's for sure. All of that captured for all time now in that stamp. Gabriel, thank you so much. Thanks for telling us about your dad and the no stamp. No problem. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Gabriel Daniels, Harry Daniels, son from Winnipeg.